Hi, I'm Carl Franklin. In this episode of the .NET Show, I'll show you how drop-dead easy it is to animate any visual element in a MAUI application, no matter what platform it's running on. Properties like opacity, translate x, translate y, scale, and rotation can be animated over time with as little as one line of code. And I'm here to explain it to you in plain English. And if you just want to see the code, you can download it from my GitHub repo right here. Maui Animation is coming right up on the .NET Show. So I'm starting with Visual Studio 2022 Preview. We're going to create a .NET MAUI app called Animations Demo. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is change the framework here, the target framework, to Windows Machine. And I'm going to replace the XAML with some custom stuff. All right, so starting from the top, we're leaving the first two labels as they are. We have another label, which I've called Animation Label and that is going to show the current animation that's playing and the last one that's played. Then I've got a horizontal stack layout with two buttons. One is the first animation that we're going to do, which is a fade animation. We have our on fade animation clicked handler that we're going to have to write. And the second one is to cancel the animation. And that's going to call on cancel animation clicked. Then below I have the image. It's the same .NET bot image but I've given it a name, .NET bot image, so we can reference it. Now let's look at the docs here for a second. So this is the document that I'm using here, basic animation in .NET MAUI. And uh, all of the visual element objects can play animations. And this is what they can do. I'm gonna go through all of these, and then we're also gonna do some easing which if you don't know what that is, you will soon. So animations work on anything that's a visual element, including image. But I could make this a button and animate the button too. All right, let's look at the code behind. Here in on cancel animation clicked, I'm simply saying .NET bot image dot cancel animations. It's built in. And reset properties gets called after an animation. So we're going to wait for a second and set all of the properties that are affected by animations. Rotation 0, scale 1, translation x 0, translation y 0. I've got a method change animation label that we can call to change the text in that animation label. And here's the first one, on fade animation clicked. So fade 2 fades the opacity to 0 in half a second, and then back to one in half a second. So it's going to fade out and fade back in. And remember, this works on any visual element, not just an image. So let's try it. All right, so I'm going to maximize it so we can see everything. Here's my fade. Here we go, ready? Half a second to fade out, half a second to fade back. Now watch what happens if I cancel it. The animation gets canceled, and we're left in some sort of limbo. But if I do it again, we're back to where we were. Cool. That's fade. Well, what else can we do? Let's add a rotate button to call on rotate animation clicked. And let's add that now. So here we're calling rotate to how many degrees over how many milliseconds? So half a second to rotate all 360 degrees. Give the guy some room here. Rotate. Boop. Fade still works. Yes, it does. That's a lot of fun, isn't it? Cancel. <laughs> he gets reset back. You know why if we cancel fade, it doesn't jump back to where it was because reset 
doesn't change the opacity. Now it goes back. And you know what? This having to maximize the screen every time is really kind of bothersome. And it turns out that it's not easy to find the solution to how to maximize a Windows MAUI app. But I did find a solution. Check this out. In MAUI Program CS, I'm going to add a using statement to Microsoft MAUI Lifecycle Events and also using statements if I'm on Windows. Microsoft UI, Microsoft UI windowing, and Windows graphics. And then down here, before we build the builder, a little voodoo. Here we're configuring lifecycle events, and when the window is created, we do a little bit of Win32 interop and move and resize the window so that it's full screen. And yeah, I've got some magic numbers in here. But for now, I don't have to maximize every time. Check this out. There you go. That's better, huh? Okay. Back to the animations. Let's add a scale button, which is going to call on scale animation clicked. Let's add that now. Scaling basically resizes the element. So here, we're going to scale to twice the size, right? 200% in a half second, and then back to the normal size in a half second. Woo! There you go. Again, if we cancel it, stops there, second later, gets reset. Cool. Let's keep going. Now, the next button is playing a translate animation on translate animation clicked and translate is a fancy word for move it's basically going to change x and y so you can move it to another position by changing x and y over time so the first argument is x we're moving at minus 200 y we're not going to move at all and it's going to take half a second then we're going to bring it back to its current position, zero, zero, in a half a second. So we're basically going to move 200 pixels left and then back. Pretty simple. Scale, rotate, fade, and translate. But wait, there's more. We're going to play a composite animation which is essentially a combination of animations that happen at the same time. So let's add the handler. Put some notes in here for you. A composite animation is a combination of animations where two or more animations run simultaneously. They can be created by combining awaited and non-awaited animations. In other words, synchronous and asynchronous. And if you don't set rotation to zero, the second time the animation runs, it won't rotate. So we're going to do a rotation and a scale at the same time. Follow me? So we start the rotation at zero. We rotate to 360 degrees over a second. And at the same time, we're scaling up twice the size and scaling back. Excellent. What else can we do? Well, I told you we'd talk about easing. So easing lets you control how animations speed up or slow down as they're running. And so easing when you're moving can make a sort of a bounce effect or it slows down as it gets to its target. Now there's a lot of easing options here. We're just going to use the bounce out to bounce the animation at the end. But it's pretty cool that all of these things are built in for you. You can just try them. All right, so let's add a button. We're going to call on easing bounce out animation clicked. And let's add that now. 
All right, so this one took a little time to figure out. This last magic number here, plus 25, is there because of the spacing equals 25 in the stack layout, but it works with any screen size. Here's that horizontal stack layout spacing is 25. So be aware of that. So we're calculating a target Y coordinate. That's going to be the Y value of the image when it's at the bottom of the screen. So we're essentially going to drop it to the bottom of the screen with translate to, this is X, this is Y. We're going to take two seconds and we're going to use the bounce out easing value. I'm going to change the height of the window so we can actually see the bottom. Pretty cool, huh? He drops to the bottom and bounces out. So that's my simple animation demo for Maui. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Please visit blazertrain.com and the.netshow.com for more great content.